The problem is that it took 70 minutes for my C-section to occur. And in the meantime, um, my son, his, the, the um, amniotic fluids were low. And basically my son was, he was a week overdue and he wasn't suspended in the amniotic fluids properly. And he was compressing on his cord. He suffocated to death. He, he died minutes before he was delivered too late. I watched them after the baby, our baby was delivered. I watched them trying to resuscitate him and trying to bring him back. Um, and um, I mean, it was uh, for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes that I watched them give him shots, um, doing chest compressions and they, I mean, uh, that, that picture, just that whole scenario just doesn't, never leaves my mind and, you know, it's, um, it's hard, it's hard. I wound up with PTSD, um, couldn't look at a baby for a year until we had her. Um, I, I wasn't able to return to work. I was on disability for a year and a half. So yeah, it was depression, anxiety. If we knew at the time it was a money issue, I mean, I would have done anything. I would have sold my kidney to, <laughs> to have them deliver my baby quicker. So, I mean, that's, that's the number one reason why we even want to bring this out into, into light, into, into the media, into public's knowledge that this needs to stop. I mean, there is not just our case, there is more than one case that's happened that uh, people have suffered because of lack of resources.